Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to learn Social Science Block 10, Gandhi and the Freedom Movement. Here we are going to learn the coming of Gandhi, the non-cooperation movement in 1920 to 1922. The Gandhi March and the Civil Disobedience Movement, 1930. Gandhi and the Freedom Movement. We have learned how Indians joined the Freedom Movement after the birth of Indian National Congress. People used different methods to protest against British rule. One important way was boycotting foreign goods during the Swadeshi War. People used different way and the important movement was boycotting the foreign movement during this Swadeshi War. And Britishers were worried by this protest and introduced new law to stop nationalist felling. It was around this time that Mahatma Gandhi joined this movement. By this time, for the first time, that Indians, both men and women, from every corner of the country joined the freedom movement. During this time, Mahatma Gandhi also joined the movement. Now, who was Mahatma Gandhi? What he did? How he came? How he was attracted? We'll see about it. The coming of Gandhi. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. His full name was Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. He was born in 1869 in Gujarat and studied law in England and became a lawyer in South Africa. During those days, South Africa was also ruled by British government, by the Britishers. And some Indians, some Indians were brought to South Africa to work in farms and mines. And there he trade like slaves. Here he saw Britishers are bringing some Indians to work in farm and mines. But they were treated like slaves. They had no freedom. One day, one day what happened? So Gandhiji was traveling in a first class compartment in a train to South Africa. He was going for some of his work but he was traveling in first class compartment as he was having the first class ticket. So he was traveling in the first class compartment. But Some Britishers asked, they asked him to go and travel through third class compartment. And why? Because of his dark skin. These people used to divide the people, those who are fair and dark. Injust and slave treatment were given to dark people. But Gandhiji denied. He denied to go in the third class compartment. He was having the first class ticket. But the British officer, he threw him out of the train. And by this incident, Mahatma Gandhiji was upset. He was truly upset. By this incident.
and so he decided to fight against British. He started to fight for the Indians using two ideas. What were these ideas? Ahimsa, non-violence, and satyagraha, following the path of truth. When he came back in India, when he came back to India in 1950, he saw that Indians were being treated badly by the British. And then he decided to join the freedom movement. When he saw the British are treating very badly to the Indians, he decided to join the freedom movement. He understood as he was very wise and educated also, he understood that it would be difficult for Indians to use violence against the British because British were more, much more powerful. And he knew that they could not be defeated by fighting with guns and bombs. Indians were poor and Britishers were very strong, so it is impossible to defeat them by guns and bombs. Instead, he wanted the Indians to be strong in their mind and follow path of truth and non-violence. Insa and Satyagraha non-violence that is Ahimsa and Satyagraha that is following the truth were the best method of the protest. He told people not to follow unjust British law. Laws which made injustice to British to Indian sorry the law which made unjust to Indians we should not follow it. He told people not to follow unjust British laws and boycott offices, schools and colleges owned by the government and also encouraged people to stop wearing foreign clothes. What he decided, what he told the people to boycott the office where they are working. Whichever Indian is working in the British office, he should boycott it. They should stop the children from sending the school and colleges, government school and colleges. Because what all money was going, it was going to British. We are working, they are earning. So, to make them weaker, this method was best to boycott and also stop people from wearing foreign clothes. He led protests, march and believed in fasting for long period to show protest. He started to weave his own cloth called Khadi using a charka. You know charka? A spinning wheel. The charkha soon became a symbol of freedom. So children, here we saw how Gandhiji was affected, how he turned towards the British movement, how he joined and how he started growing up and which two laws he gave. And very soon, the charkha which he used to use for weaving a cloth, he used to make his own cloth. And that charkha became a symbol of freedom. The non-cooperation movement which took place in 1920 to 1920. This time, British passed a law in 1919 
What was the law? The law was British could arrest any Indian for no reason. And without any reason, if this British they are arresting Indians, then naturally Indians would get angry. So to protest against this law, hundreds of men, women and children gathered in Jallianwala Park, which is in Amritsar, Punjab. On 13th April 1990, hundreds of men, women with children, they gathered in this Jallianwala Park to discuss about the law. British heard about this and they sent an army headed by General Dyer of this uh, gathering in that Jallianwala Bagh. Britishers sent an army headed by General Dyer who was the commanding officer of this army. He went to that place and killed killed people protesters and injured many more this was very cruel incident so many men women children they died in this incident see how cruel event this general died died what he did such a cruel incident happened. So, the protest against this, Gandhiji started non-cooperation movement. Non-cooperation movement to protest against this incident. <clears throat> Indians boycott schools and offices burned foreign clothes and encouraged everyone to wear khadi. This time, Indians, what they did? They boycotted the schools and offices. They stopped sending their children to school and stopped working in the government offices and also boycott the Wearing of foreign clothes. They stopped wearing the foreign clothes and started wearing khadi. Men and women throughout the country took part in this movement. They burned foreign goods, foreign clothes. The British tried to stop it by killing people or putting them in jail. Some Indians got angry because of the British. They are killing or putting Indian people in jail. So some of them got angry and they burned a police station. And where? In the village of Chauri Chaura in Uttar Pradesh. They burned a police station. And by this incident, Gandhiji was upset. He was upset with this violent incident. So he immediately stopped the movement. Because he believed in non violence. But due to this incident, this movement would have turned violent. So, stop the movement. Now you understood what was the non-cooperation movement and why it was stopped. Okay. Moving forward. The Dandi March and the Civil Disobedience Movement in 1930. In 1930, Gandhiji started another movement. And that movement was called 
सिविल डिसोबीडियंस मूवमेंट ही फेल्ड दैट ब्रिटिशर्स वेर एबल टू रूल ब्रिटिश वेर एबल टू रूल बिकॉज पीपल फॉलोड द लॉज people followed the laws that is why british are ruling us but if indians disobeyed the laws it would be difficult for british to rule in the country the british has passed a law this time britishers again passed one law and that law was no indian can buy or sell only britishers british were allowed to buy or sell salt indians had to pay a lot of money to buy salt although it was easily available on the coast but still british government applied heavy taxes on salt and made a law that no one no indian can buy or sell salt only british were allowed to do so gandhi ji decided to protest against this unjust law against this unjust law gandhi ji decided to protest he started a march with 78 people 78 people yes with the 78 people he started a march to the village called dandi which was on the coast but when he started hundreds of people including men women joined him See when he started with seventy-eight people, while walking, while going to the Dandi village, hundred of men, women joined him. He picked up grains of salt from the seashore against the order of British. This movement spread across the country. and this movement spread across the country thousands were arrested including gandhi the whole country was now united against the british during this time the whole country was united against the british and gandhi ji became the leader of a national movement see how nicely he united all the people without fighting arms being violent so easily with non violence and ahimsa he started the movement and was successful also okay children did you understood okay now after this video if you still have any doubt you clear it during our online session in this video lecture ending you pdf file to complete your question answer but side by side you have to complete your you are going to complete your application workbook also understood so let's meet in a online lecture so we can again clear the doubts and try to solve the book okay children till then have a good day bye